altered item 12, the VHS cassette tape. Based upon the available documentation, this item represents the first documented occurrence of a man-made altered item. Quote, Never before have Bureau personnel been so closely involved in the creation of an altered item. End quote. The alteration occurred in November of 1978 during Operation Shallow Tide. This involved the attempt to film an altered entity named Aki, codenamed A001. Full details of this operation's purpose are not on file, so I am unable to determine if this operation was focused on Aki specifically, or if filming him was merely a byproduct achieved in the furtherance of other objectives. The VHS tape bears the PE designation, likely due to the psychological or psychic effect the item has over those who see it. Quote, This footage renders individuals incapable of movement, speech, or thought while the television screen is within view. End quote. These effects can be described as an absent seizure or a brief sudden lapse in consciousness. The subject may be observed as staring blankly at nothing before returning to normal awareness. In the case of AI-12, these occurrences last as long as the television set is in view. Whether the effect is due to direct ocular contact with the screen or the light projected from the screen is unknown. Whether blind individuals are susceptible to the item's effect is also unknown. Further experimentation on these notes is required. Much like AI-10, the VHS tape comes in two parts, the cassette tape and the TV itself. The tape cannot be removed from the television which invites the question, which part of this pair is altered? TV or the tape? Or are they both one thing now? This style of alteration will be elaborated on when discussing OOP-10. The video being played is of Aki cleaning the floor while dancing. Despite the entranced state, some aspect of the video is perceived during these absent seizures. Quote, Individuals only recollect hearing strange music during their entranced state. Footage plays on a constant loop even when the television is not connected to a power source. End quote. Due to the nature of its effect, this item is one of the few which could be used for tactical advantage. As described during the Foundation event, the VHS tape and TV were used to explore deeper into the Dark Cavern by paralyzing the id creatures located below. During this event, the items did not affect Director Faden according to the reports. Supposition Much like the current Director's immunity to the effects of the Hiss, she may be immune to this altered item's effect. While details of what gave her this innate Hiss immunity have not been disclosed publicly, it may gift her other benefits as well. Whether the VHS tape can be used on paranatural entities other than the id is unknown. While potential uses include pacifying a crowd, negating an enemy force, or in the apprehension of paracriminals, it is not recommended for anyone other than the director to make use of the VHS tape. This is due to the almost magnetic attraction it has on the people in its vicinity. Quote, Even when the television and its footage are contained within an enclosed cell with no window, Agents in the proximity have been driven to open and enter the cell by the item's entrancing nature. End quote. This makes it next to impossible to house in the panopticon. The radius from the item in which these effects occur is unknown but can be easily tested. According to one document, containment procedures were updated for this reason. They note the item was moved but gives no further details. Despite these redactions, we can guess at what happened. When Director Faden uncovered AI-12, a containment module for the item was located in the deep cavern. It was empty at the time of discovery. Nearby was a vertical shaft leading into a pit. After sailing to the bottom, the item was immediately within view. Supposition Due to the inability to properly contain this item in the oldest house proper, it was decided to contain it in the deep cavern of the Foundation instead. As knowledge of this location was classified and travel forbidden, this tactic ensured no agents would accidentally uncover it. After transporting AI-12 in the containment module to the cavern base camp, it appears to have been removed and thrown down the cave shaft. Due to the depth of this chasm, the entrancing effects of the VHS tape would not reach anyone standing at the top of the shaft. Hey. I have just been notified that any request to enter the Foundation and observe the item directly has been denied. As is usual, a memo will be sent along with this report to a research team with a list of requested tests. Barring new information, this concludes my report on Altered Item 12, the VHS tape.